Lacrosse. In this game, the face-off is everything. It determines whether a team starts on offense or defense. Number 17, James Cowan, is recognized as one of the best face-off players in Florida. Steinbrenner High School is lucky to have him on their team. You know, that's where the game starts, is the face-off circle. Um, you know, it's very hard to do face-off. And uh, the way James works, he's, he, he's working at his craft. Um, it's patterns. You gotta look at the ref. You gotta listen to how the ref does the whistles. You gotta. There's very. You know. It's not just. It's not just muscling out somebody. There are two things he does to prepare for faceoffs. I uh, always get into the same positioning. I'm very balanced, so I can react to whatever happens on the draw. Um, and if my head ever gets too pinched, I tend to just spread it out a little bit so the ball doesn't get stuck, and that's about it. You know, he's one of the best in the area, and. Um, you know, we saw today against a great Newsom team, we battled back, we're down five goals, and he winds up tying the game up with two seconds left. That's James Cowan. Brings it to overtime. That's, that's James Cowan. Off the field, James helps high school and college lacrosse players nationwide by custom stringing and dyeing their stick heads. How did he first see this was his future? Out of boredom, when I first moved down here, I uh, found myself kind of lonely without a lot of friends. I love lacrosse. I had a couple extra backup sticks and some mesh line around and just got creative with it. You know, he has his own business and it's not a lemonade stand. It's not like a little petty lemonade stand. He, he has a legit um, growing and uh, a successful business. Um, people can find me uh, mostly through Instagram. I have about 7,000 followers right now and growing. I also have a website searching through Google and also word of mouth around the town. Uh, I've grown a lot recently in the youth program, uh, Pride Lacrosse, and my coaches are always putting a solid word out there for me. He typically strings or dies four to five heads per week. A serious work ethic is needed to keep up. A typical mesh pocket takes about 30 minutes. Uh, I tend to make a little bit of adjustments while I'm, while I'm uh, doing it. Uh, dye jobs can range anywhere from 10 minutes for just dipping it in one color or up to four hours for the whole decal process. Really ranges. James's special talent makes a significant difference to Steinmetter's team daily. On a timeout or after a quarter, James is, James is right there to fix it. But for the most part, practice-wise, you know, kids are hitting the net because I think they could go right back to James, and James is very quick to, you know, fix it and, and uh, you know, identify what the problem is with a kid's stick. And if he keeps working, he's only a junior. You know, sky's the limit for a senior year.